All right, cool. We ready to get back into it? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. So, Miri. Sorry? It's, uh, it's morning at your bakery, the Bad Batch. Uh, tell us a little bit about the bakery. Uh, give us a quick description of what the shop looks like and where it's located in Gotham. Sure, sure, sure. Let me just like switch modes for a second. Uh, yes, the Bad Batch is located in downtown Gotham. It's near the courthouse in the financial district. Uh, it's a pretty like, it's not a rundown place, but it's got some character to it. Um, it does a decent business with the locals. Uh, it's also used as a semi-neutral hangout spot by some unsavory people, depending on if they're in Mary's good graces or not. Uh, is it? It's the morning, so this is the morning rush now. Like, what? What time is it? Like, uh, just you? You have like just flipped the sign on the door to open. Oh, sweet. So, you okay. Know, you, so, like, you within just finished your sort of your sort of opening. Yeah, w- within like. 10 minutes, there's going to start being, uh, the crowd is going to start filtering in. And like, by the time we hit like eight o'clock, there will be a line for sure. Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, who do we see? Uh, who do we see? see dealing with, you know, we, we have, uh, we're, we're in downtown, you know, we got people like, uh, it's a, it's a weekday. Um, right. So we got people coming in, getting their their little morning uh, coffee and and pastry or muffin or what have you, right before they head off to work. Um, yeah, who Miri do we see is, serving? Uh, Miri is in her wheelchair. Uh, it's decorated with a lot of stickers from her favorite like bands, uh, some some like local art, uh, like like artisan stickers that she may have purchased or bought on whatever the equivalent of Etsy is for Gotham. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you see uh, a woman in her mid twenties. Uh, she's uh, uh, wearing very like retro, I'm gonna say she's got kind of like a, a poodle skirt on very retro 50s style uh, clothing, uh, including like this rockabilly hairdo she's got long, uh, almost black hair that she's got like coiffed and very well taken care of. Uh, She's got that retro 50s makeup on perfectly. She is super femme and uh, just super always put together. Um, And she's wheeling herself around uh, her her bakery. She she usually has like some help in the front, but this early uh, she tends to manage everything herself until the first shift will come and take over and she can go into the back kitchen and prepare, you know, the next batch of goods to get into the oven and, and into uh, display. Um, so yeah, I think at the moment she's just probably turning on the espresso machines, making sure everything is all set, uh, checking the till. Uh, yeah, she's she's going about her day. She's, she's playing some music uh, in the shop. Uh, right now it's not quite like coffee shop mode music. I think it's some sort of punk rockabilly band that she's into right now. Rad. Um, so how long does it take before that initial morning rush dies down? How long does it take for the shop Ooh. to kind of empty out? Probably at least until like after 930 when like the first people that are getting to their 9 a.m. start to start time office jobs downtown have pretty much cleared out. Cool. Cool. Okay, so it's it's about nine thirty ten, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, you know you're. Oh, I you're should in... say. Yeah. That uh, occasionally throughout this morning, she has an oxygen tank on her wheelchair. She will occasionally go into the back and uh, use that. Yeah. Cool. Um, so it's about it's about nine thirty ten ish. Um, and you know, you have, you have that brief lull, uh, the shop is, is briefly empty, um, before, you know, you start to get into lunch rush territory. That's obviously the next, the next one. And, uh, you, um, you look up, uh, from behind the counter as the bell rings and you see, uh, a 
customer enter. This is uh, a tall, um, broad figure wearing a black hoodie with the hood up. Um, and as they approach the counter, uh, they pull back the hood to reveal the half-scarred face of Harvey Dent. I'm grabbing my shotgun. No, 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 no. Get the fuck out of my shop. All right. Just, just give me a second. You have five. Okay, fine. I'm here about Jackie. It's important. Sure you are. I what have you gotten her into this Mary. time? Well, she killed three it. now. No, no. You don't understand, Mary. I... It's... It's me. It's Harvey Dent. That little act will work on my sister. It doesn't work on me. All right? God, you have a lot of nerve showing up here. I know. I know. And I wouldn't do it if it wasn't important. I'm just coming here to ask you for help because I don't know where else in this city to go. Oh, whose fault is that? It's mine. And you're right for saying it. All right, Harv. What the fuck do you want? Miri, I know what you think of me. You don't know how. I know it. I'm already damned to hell and back in your eyes. And we're never going to fix that. And I'm not here to fix that. This is about Jackie. And only about Jackie. Well, my sister is equally good at getting herself into trouble, and she certainly doesn't seem to want any help getting out of it. Yeah, that's the problem. Because she needs it. I, I don't know how to tell you this without setting you off. I, um... We're trying to build a life, a real one. Move beyond everything that was in the past. I think that Jackie can turn things around. I hope that I can, but that's not part of it. I think she can. And I want to help her she do that. <laughs> you want to help her do that? No, you've helped her quite a lot. She was putting her life back together. And then you had to go get her. You just couldn't leave her alone. No, I couldn't. Hey, Harvey, let's say that you're sincere. Let's say that you mean it. Let's say that you really want what's best for Jackie. Do you want to know what's best for Jackie? Making sure she stays far away from you. Maybe you're right. Well, I know I'm right. My sister's scared about losing you. She will never let you go. And you're too scared to let her go. That's both of yours problems. Can't do it. Of course you can't. I... Jackie has a new job. 
For you, what have you guys been doing now? Well, she got me out of Arkham. She went to Arkham again? Let me guess, it was to get you out. It was for you. She did that. Got herself arrested. Did the whole thing. I've heard that story before. It was old the first time. I'd like to think that, but uh, that's a little egomaniacal even for me. Or, well, part of me. Well, I haven't spoken with Jackie in a while. I'm not sure what's going on in her head. Any more than I know what's going on in yours. I, I don't need you to know what's going on in her head. I just need someone that she'll listen to. She's never listened to me, Harvey. If she listened to me, none of this would be happening. I can't think of anybody else in Gotham that she trusts. That she could trust. <laughs> if You're mad sister. at her. Don't let that distract you from what it is the two of you have. And what is it that we have? You've done a great job at destroying that. If I had known what was going to happen the second, the very first time you walked into my shop, I would have sent you running. I wouldn't have even encouraged her to be friends with you. I can't believe that I even thought about doing that. I thought it might be good for her, but I didn't know anything that was... I didn't know what she was really doing. We can't undo the past, Miri. Um, and I think he he sort of, as he's saying this, he, um, he puts his hands on the countertop. Um, and you can see, you know, the... Uh, the unscarred one, the scarred one, uh, sort of reflecting that permanence of of what has transpired uh, in had, the time that you've known each other. You had so many opportunities, Harvey. How many more do you want to be given? Just one. Always just one more. I need some way to get Jackie not to do this job. It's too dangerous, and it's going to draw her back into that life that I know and that you sure as hell know isn't any good for her. I don't even know how to reach her anymore, Harvey. And listen to you? Did you tell her you didn't want to do this? Yeah. She still did it? I don't know. Then why the fuck would she listen to me? She never listened to me when it comes to you. You could mm. reach her better than I ever could, and that's the truth. I don't have to like it. I don't think she's the same person as the last time you talked to her. Are any of us the same people we were? No. I used to be... I used to be scared about losing my sister at one point. But... I've learned that fear just shows us what we don't want to lose. And you're right, I don't want to lose my sister. Um, do you have a number for her? 
Um, what what is uh, what's Jackie's communication situation? Does Harvey have? Do they have? Do they have phones? Uh, I think. I mean, Ed called Jackie on a on a cell phone that she was ostensibly using. So I'm going to assume that that phone is also can be used. Yeah. Uh, by Harvey right. to contact her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I'd forgotten that Ed had called <laughs> before. On 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 the Wayne phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Prepaid Wayne phone. Oh um, boy. Uh, yeah, and uh, Harvey is. Um, I think. Uh, I think prepared enough for this that he just reaches into the pocket of his hoodie and pulls out uh, a scrap of paper with a number on it and pushes it across the counter. Hey, Harvey. If you're telling the truth, and she really is in trouble, I can't exactly come in to save the day, she gestures. I can try to talk to her. I don't know what good it's going to really do. All I'm asking, Mary, is that you try. No, um, as much as, uh, I hate your fucking guts, Harv, I guess I could never fault you for caring for her in your own weird way. What can I say? I believe in Jackie. And oh, he boy. lips the hoodie up and uh, walks Yeah, Mary, Mary's going to shout door. after him. Um, just for the record, you come back into my shop uninvited and I am shooting you. He nods and then through the door with the jingle of the bell. And we're left, Miri, with mm -hmm. you holding that number in I'm your hand. I'm going to take another pull from the tank that's on my back. And we are back in the alleyway. Uh, oh my god! Yes. Fuck. <laughs> how how couldn't you just drop that on us, David? God. Uh, well, uh, Marcy had a very bad roll on. Uh, <laughs> not the consequences of my own actions. Well, well Yeah, well. yeah, a couple of sessions ago. Oh, and uh, consequences. Oh boy. Can't wait to see how this affects us anyway. Oh, yeah, I, I'm sure, I'm sure this, uh, this sideline won't continue in any way, oh, shape or form that has any significance trying whatsoever. Trying to help her. No. Okay. He can't, he can't die, <laughs> okay? Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna, fine. It's, we're, good. we're, we're yeah. good, we're good. We're normal, mm -hmm. we're good. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. So Ed, Ollie, Jackie, uh, the three of you are standing across from the loading dock um, beside this parked green town car on the um, side of the Ace Chemical building. Um. You are uh, watching the backs of Adam, the Riddler, and two um, very large goons in green suits marching uh, into, into the loading dock, up the stairs, and down a, uh, a corridor out of sight. Can I add? Yes. Riddler has a question mark. Yep. Uh, one big guy has the pound symbol. 
and the other one has the brackets. Great. Yes. Okay, and those those are like on the back of their of their jackets, right? Like big. Cool, cool. Yeah, they're yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. like embroidered on there. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh yeah, so that that is what you see uh the the three of you um as your uh as your very easy entry into Riddler's base uh is just walking away. Let's let's flash back to the coffee shop. We are back. Uh in the goth bucks and oh that one thank god <laughs> the four of you uh are at the table in the back corner um what backup entry plan did you come up with i want to drop into the conversation on your plan b for getting Can into I... riddler's base i have a slot <laughs> oh drop it Drop it like it's hot. Um, in the grand tradition of sneaking into places in many a heist movie, was the backup plan um, Jackie knocks out some people and we take their uniforms and we get in? Do the old switcheroo? Yes. And, you know, <laughs> Mr. Enigma, he... I mean, I swear to God, the man has face blindness for my face specifically. So, you know, <laughs> if he sees me again, he's just gonna, he's not, he's not gonna know. Who's gonna know? No one's gonna Yeah, I've, I've noticed that as time has gone on, gotten really bad these past few months, he doesn't even really, like, recognize, like, like you said, like you say, it's, it's really just the symbols. Because everybody has different symbols, because, you know, he has the question mark. Dot, dot, dot. And there's like so uh, marks. Do the symbols uh, mean anything? Like job descriptions, shorthand, yeah. or whatever. So like, slash is like apparently like melee, like swords and knives and shit. Bullet, oh. like is like our like arms dealer. Carrot is like our financier. So I gentlemen. Did you uh do oh, you design those? Consciously. I mean those look it, those look great. Like your graphic design skills. You oh, just yeah, you, do, you have was, so many talents. That was part of that. Dot dot dot. I, I just thank thank you. I, you're just such a talented kid, you know. I, I appreciate that. That was my idea is that, you know the the question mark thing is as iconic as it is, it is a little overplayed for everything, Riddler. So let's expand beyond that into him being just question marks and everybody else being different. I love it. Perfect. Cool. What were you saying, uh, Ollie? So, like, hashtag of pound symbol is no. Is it? That's punching. I hope. Yeah. Oh, oh, I get oh, that's I, all right. Yeah. See, look at, look at this. Wait, so why aren't you uh, called ellipses then? It's just like a. You know, it, it goes with the the tag, you know, because it, you know the tag. Yeah, I I, I know, I know. But the just tag. like it, it fits the tag better. It's just, and it's not like ellipsis is just like oh, it's an ellipsis, but like dot dot dot. It's like suspense. It's foreshadow. You know, it's like it's it's more dramatic. I feel like ellipses makes you sound like some sort of like Greek god or something. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's... I hear that. Anyway. How are y'all getting these uniforms? Who's Just around go us? Wait, let's not go. Uh, calm down, Jackie. We can just go to a fucking dry. Go to the closest dry cleaner, or we can just go to a uniform supply store. It's you, it's so cheap. And we're just gonna dash these on our person. Why? Why would we not just put them on and walk in? Well, I can always put them in my my messenger bag. <laughs> look, we can also we can pose. Look, I use I use fucking uh, I use delivery service covers all the fucking time. I mean, you what know, about uh, know. what's the, what's the what's the place with the uh, the the fruit arrangements that look like you know like little dinosaurs and boats and shit. Fruit of the loom. <laughs> Oh. 
Hang on, I've got something for I've got something for Gotham. For some reason, I wanna I wanna That's say so inscrutable good. arrangements. I don't yes, know why. It's that now. It's all oh arrangements. <laughs> Yeah, Thank maybe. Oh, yeah. So good. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking. Maybe that's too Riddler, but I, I like inscrutable arrangements. Maybe he owns it, so you know. Maybe, maybe. Does the do the Riddler own a variety of like weird novelty services? Oh, for so sure. Oh, that sounds right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. A hundred percent. Is that a known thing? I mean, we might know it. Yeah, it's uh, like yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's it's probably it's, one of these things that's like known by the right people in the underworld, but it's it's not like like public, if you see an inscrutable knowledge. arrangements delivery show up, you know to get the fuck out because it's probably a bomb. Yeah, <laughs> I remember yeah. one time I asked for a raise and he said no, but he gave me an inscrutable arrangement instead. <laughs> fuck that yeah. guy. Great boss. Look, we can just pose as delivery people. Go in. Uh, I I gotta get to I gotta get all up in Ace I gotta get all up in Ace Chemicals no matter what like it's might as well ugh. how hard can it possibly be to just fucking go through the the ceiling into the space if we really need to oh uh, no that that part can be done I mean it's not as uh, quiet if I mean, we were to get caught but, maybe uh, you two can on the do ceiling. that but uh, I mean look. <laughs> I'm not the most in shape guy, right? <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem. We could just bring in a fucking ladder. Or we could just wear the uniforms underneath our clothes. I... I, I like, like that one. We could do painters as classic. Like, hard to fuck up. You can bring in all the supplies you need. We could do... Or we uh, could still wear the Riddler uniforms that uh, Dot 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 can take for us or redesign for us. Un again, under the clothes, take oh. take take the street clothes off, Riddler uniforms on underneath, and walk on in. It's gonna say I like that. Let's go, that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. All right. The show is also very good. Whoosh. We are back to the present. So um, what uh, what I want to do here is um, uh, dot, dot, dot. Uh, you are the one acquiring these uniforms for everyone. So yep. we are going to have a, uh, a flashback roll to... Uh, so this is an action roll that happens in the past. Um, the only difference between a flashback action roll and a present... Uh, role is in order to retroactively establish something, you are going to have to pay one stress. So, okay. um, let's see uh, if you were able to acquire these uniforms and get them to everybody uh, before the heist. Um, I think this probably sounds like uh, we, we could do this a couple of ways. Okay. Um, you uh, you might be skulking around uh, in Riddler's base to acquire these. Um, you might be um, uh, tinkering with the uh, with the the um, you know if you're actually like making new new uniforms for everyone. You might be uh, tinkering with the uniforms to get everybody their their own custom uniform. Um, you Can I could ask something. Yeah, yeah. But I do a command roll to tell them, hey, I need your outfits. I need to fix them. Yeah, that that was the next thing I was going to do. You could go to people and you could either try to convince them, sway them to give the to hand over the uniforms, or you could just say, hey, I got orders from the boss. Uh, you know, I need your I need your spare uniform to. Uh, I'm, I'm fixing it up or we're doing like a we're doing like a refresh or I need to like put a new patch on it or whatever. Yeah, yep, cool. Yep. Yeah. So command is uh, is totally valid here. Um, so uh, who are you going to? Well, uh, it doesn't have to be somebody named, but you can tell me like a ki a type of person. Um, I'm say within the Riddler org. Um. Big guy, who we already have pound for, so I'll say pound. Someone fairly lithe, so I'm gonna say, and then someone who's doughy, 
but not like fit. So I'll say uh, percentile. Great. So you are you're uh, so we'll 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 see like a little uh, a little montage of you uh, kind of going around to uh, to these people and uh, asking for their their uniforms. Um, and I think uh, Riddler, um, how how does Riddler's uniforming work? Because he certainly he is is I think always dressed um in the suit. Right. Always impeccably dressed in that suit. And um, yeah, you know, it's it's a very like crisp lines, sharp collar. Uh and I think he probably keeps like uh people who are immediately around him. Um, you know, like his his personal security detail. They are probably also in in green suits. Less flashy than than the riddlers um you know it's like when you when you see a a security person in a black suit next to like the uh you know the mob boss or the politician or or whoever right like you can tell those are different kinds of suits even if they're the same color um but then he has all kinds of other people working for him um so and obviously, like dot dot dot, you do not dress in a green suit. You have oh. a a different green and purple outfit. So, what is uh, what kind of clothing are you gathering? So, Ollie would be receiving the more like formal suit because Pound is oftentimes next to Riddler as like a personal. Uh, Great, bodyguard. adore the idea of Ollie having to wear a suit. Yes, crime. This is crime. This is the like, real crime here. It's like canon. like stuffing um, a feral possum into a tuxedo. It's very good. It's excellent. It's extremely um, good. Slash, I would say, is not really like a personal like bodyguard. Is more of a assassin hit person. So tends to wear a lot more like ammunition on them. Um, more rough and tumble. Able to like move around flexibly. Cool. Um, I, I'm imagining like um like kind of a green chunky turtleneck and like green cargo pants. So yeah. you know, very, very like uh like like almost um green beret army special ops, right? But uh instead of olive green, like, you know, uh bright Riddler green. Yes, like kind of rich lime. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Other important note for Slash, Slash has an eye patch. Um, and then for percent too much fun with this. Look, too much I'm a fun. character designer. What do you want from me? This is yeah. my, my bread and butter. Um, it's very good. Uh, so for percentile, percentile has like a lot more of like a desk job out of everybody. Percentile is responsible for like not big fi like financier like not the cfo like local manager <laughs> position like um, like an accountant like an accountant maybe like, a, like like the head accountant yeah like okay yeah head accountant i like that i like that so it's not like a really dope looking like custom ensemble it's like like a polo with maybe the percentile on like the left pectoral maybe just something like very understated. Yeah, it's it's a green it's a green polo shirt uh, with the with the little thing, and uh, just <laughs> just a, a pair of khakis. Incredible. I yeah, and and, <laughs> and I think very specifically, we know that Riddler uh, Riddler employees carry ID cards for sure. This person has theirs on a on a neck lanyard. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I feel like Ed knows this guy and has met his 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 partner, his his husband, his wife, his yeah. whatever. Um like definitely has had like they've definitely grilled in the backyard together. Oh like, yeah, yeah, point. yeah. This but they're not this... friends. <laughs> I feel like this is this is your um 
I, I want to say this is like your was your lunch friend, Ed. Oh my god, absolutely. Yeah. You know, like like the two of you have have no social interaction. You get lunch, and then every every so often, uh, it's like, oh hey, do you want to like, you know come by the the place we're doing a barbecue this weekend we're you know we'll, sta- we'll stand around egg. we got some beef <laughs> tips now i i imagine this happened this whole like punctuation revamp happened while you were away in arkham what is percentiles real name oh yeah <laughs> hmm. yeah I, I, I gotta make bill. some notes about these people bill Short for Billiam. <laughs> Not William, Billiam. Yeah, Billiam. And he's actually really insecure about it, so don't bring it up, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up all the freaking time. <laughs> My god, more people in this organization who are super sensitive about their names? Great! Love that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like Mr. Enigma, he kind of is maybe part of the job? I don't know, part of the requirement? <laughs> All right, awesome. So, uh, I yeah, I all, all of these folks are going to be level two. So uh, you're going to be down one to start. Um, I don't think, uh, yeah, you don't have any harm marked. Um, this is not a desperate situation. Uh, do you want to add any dice to this? You can push yourself. We can uh, invent a devil's bargain. Or Offer me somebody a devil's can bargain, try to assist. Please. Devil's bargain. Okay, um, the uh, the devil's bargain here is, um, hmm, 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 hmm. All right, you're trying to get these. You're trying to get these outfits. You're trying to distribute them to uh, to everyone. The devil's bargain is going to be that all three of those people are definitively going to be present in the base uh, at the time that you are entering. I love that. Yes, please. Okay. All right. I love you, it. You've taken it. You, uh, you get the extra D6. Um, and I will make note. Uh, was that 2D6 because I was down one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're, you were down one. You're back up one. So you are back to your command rating. Cool. Y'all, I gotta do better. Uh oh, what do we got? Don't say it. I got a three and a two, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. No. What's the backup plan to the backup plan? Quickly. Okay, so here's here's Foster the deal. Explosives. Um, and you do you do have to pay stress because this role is happening yeah. in a flashback. So yeah. make sure you mark that stress. Um, so here's here's how. Uh, here's how it's happening. Um, the, um, you were only able to get, um, one item off of each of these people. Um, you know, you, you, you went in, you said, hey, the, the boss needs this. And it was just like one one excuse after the other. I don't have it with me. Uh, I'll have to bring it to you. You know, I'll have to bring you the whole the whole ensemble tomorrow. Um, I like, you know, I, I need like I need this for a job like that. I'm going out on tonight. I can't hand it over. Um, but um you know, each of them gave you some sort of small consolation prize. So you have three articles of Riddler official clothing, um, none of which are like not shirts, not pants. It's all like accessories. Nothing, nothing easily identifiable. Yeah. So you you have like you know somebody maybe got you a hat. Somebody got you like. Uh, I don't know what what are we what are some other what are some other options here? Um, yeah. Somebody got you like a scarf. <laughs> People you basically gave that. you the shit that they didn't care about no. not having for some period of time. What was that? What was the last one? Uh, 
Ed got the bowler hat from. Prison Damn it. Style. Yeah. Yeah. So Ed Ed has a bowler hat. Um. Uh. Uh. Let's say. Um. I don't know. J what Jackie? What do you want? I'm gonna get a pair of gloves. Great pair of pair of bright green gloves or green and purple gloves. Uh, one's green, one's purple. Come on. <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. Ollie. Oh, uh... One accessory. Uh, mm. it, it's just. Oh God, I need something stupid. Um, it cannot be underpants that you wear on the outside. I could think of some. I'm banning things. that. Can I? Can I suggest? Riddler is best known for the cane. Uh, oh, the tie. Uh, well, the cane, obviously, but we there's not tons of those lying around. Oh yeah, just the tie. I actually love a, that. It's not a. It's not a tie. The tie is exclusively for Mr. Enigma himself. People who dress formally wear bow ties. If you, I was about to say, if you say bow tie, I'm gonna jump through this screen and strike. It's gotta be know? bow tie. It yeah, it's it's just it's a bow tie. Fucking, it's it is the bow tie, but I'm so angry about it. <laughs> yeah, I want yeah, I'm I, I want it noted on the record, Your Honor. I'm delighted. I'm on the shit list. I I understand. So we flash back to the present. We are in the alley. Ed, you are uh, you are opening your messenger bag to engage Plan B uh, and start taking out a pair of green and purple gloves, a green bow tie, and a green bowler hat with a purple band. That's it. Hiding in plain sight. Everybody that would fit your frames best was out on jobs tonight, or didn't have it on them yesterday. No. Okay. What I got. All right. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up uh, with Plan C at some point tonight. I yeah, I feel like God. that's usually how it goes. You know, as long as we don't get to, you know, Plan G, <laughs> that's that, to, I think that's successful for us. We're gonna have to get to Cyrillic at some point, I'm sure. Okay. Oh. Huh. Well, suit up. I'm sorry. Just one bow tie for you, Ollie. Um, who's got points and sway? Two. I have two. We got this. We're t together, our powers combined. Ed's gonna put the bowler hat um <laughs> on his head and tip it at um. Ollie and Jackie, because Adam's Adam's in the building now with. Yeah, so we we are back to the the three of you in the alley, and Adam has been has been hustled back into the building at this point. Okay. Um. Are we just going in? Fuck it. Why not? Yep. Because I'm just gonna put this out there. That if we go in and you know we don't blend in, um, just just let me go first. You know I won't argue with that. Muscle first. All right. Oh boy, she's she's gonna stretch a little bit and crack her knuckles into gloves. All right, cool. What's your next move? Yes, we're going in. Okay, so the uh, the the three of you square up, and you head uh, into the loading dock. Um, so you um, you know you you go into through this uh, this very large rectangular uh, opening in the side of the building. Um, you um, uh, pass under, you know, rattling ductwork uh, that's hung along the ceiling and hissing pipes going up the wall. Uh, there's maybe a little forklift uh, parked uh, over on the uh, on the side, and you climb those. Uh, following uh, Adam's description of how you access the base, 
you climb the same uh, yellow painted metal stairs that go up from the uh, the concrete ground to the top of this deck uh, that's uh, that uh, that's a little higher up where you have these ports for for trucks unloading. Um, you go through uh, a door that is off to the right uh, of the the ports, um, and uh, now you're down a a linoleum tiled hallway. Uh, this fluorescent lit passage with a bank of freight elevators along one side, um, and this is this is exactly where you saw Riddler and dot 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 and the goons head. Um, you go all the way to the last elevator in the bank and who hits the call button ollie does great ollie you hit the the call button for the elevator yeah can i request one additional accessory that does not feel like it would have been hard to find (laughs) yes Uh, a clipboard (laughs) <laughs> put it on your gear sheet you have a clipboard one of the the good metal ones yeah that, like that flips yeah open right and put stuff in it yeah there where you can get stuff inside yeah 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 cool um all right so uh you know you hear the uh the the elevator mechanics going uh and there is a Ding, and the doors of this freight elevator slide open in front of the three of you. You are looking into um, a just bog standard freight elevator. Uh, the inside has uh, corrugated metal walls and uh, corrugated metal floor. Um, if you, uh, when you enter the elevator, off to your left uh your right if you now turn around to face out face the doors um there is a uh, a panel um with the buttons one through nine and one button uh in the lower right with a question mark above that is a um one of those little like um uh plastic uh um windows that have elevator ads in them and you see uh a little ad uh, it's like a 1950s style diner waitress um doesn't look unlike uh Miri Ripley you know uh not not too different um and she's holding out a, a plate with uh, a cherry pie slice on it and it says in script above it have a slice Is that Miri? That's, that's not Miri. Is it? No, it's not Miri. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, she likes those kind of dresses, but like, it's not Miri. It's an oh, an, like a little animated thing, right? I right don't know. I need to get. It's, I need to get my. It looks. Uh, it looks painted. It's like one of those yeah, old, yeah, yeah. like oh, painted. Oh God! I ads. misunderstood. I thought it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do need better glasses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh man! Okay, first thing I'm gonna do when we—I thought this Miri was in that little window. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Miri. <laughs> I thought I missed the painted part. No, I it's good. It, no, it's even it better. I love it. The, I love it. The, I it yeah, it's it's like it's like a vintage advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, did dot 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 tell us which floor? That feels like um, something we would have gone over in the planning uh, I feel like it process. Had to have been. Yes. So what you know is um, the procedure for this elevator is um, there is a code that you have to enter, um, which changes daily. Um, and there is always a clue somewhere in the elevator about what the code is. Oh, I know what it is. 
I'm already angry at you. Fuck you, David. Is it? 3.14. Yes. <laughs> no, we agreed. We were not going to let the fucking and... Ravenel solve any puzzles. Uh, where's, where's the solidarity hopper? Ollie, uh. Uh, you, uh, you enter that into the panel. And yeah, you... Ollie, I think Ollie just kind of groans once they realize what the pun is. Um, and uh, uh, with with all the vitriol I can muster. Swear, do, did, did dot 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 tell us how many digits it's, the code is? It changes. Oh no, yeah. quickly. How many? <laughs> How many do Isn't we all like remember? Like 3.145 is 5 the next? 3.145926573. Oh. Sure. Nice. It's definitely Plus fewer digits days. than that. That's impressive. <laughs> that was hella I impressive. I could have been bullshitting. I don't so know. is it like... Uh, okay. You're not. I have it written down for the stupid <laughs> puzzle. Wow. Uh, right, 3.14 Um this a roll uh so the the way you've already solved my pie puzzle uh <laughs> however uh no. the way there there will be two ways that you can deal with puzzles in the lair of the riddler one uh will be you the players uh can figure out what the puzzle is yes. and tell me what the solution is and say my yes. character does this that's fine. Mm. Unless there is, unless it is a puzzle where there is no conceivable way that your character could figure that oh, out. My, my right? character can figure out every puzzle, David. Do you want to know how? It's with the power of fists. Yeah, that's not, that's not it. That's not, that, that's that, not that's it. That's always the answer, though. That's not it. So it's perfectly reasonable that Ollie would know uh, a reasonable number of digits of pi, right? That's perfectly reasonable. Um, yeah, they're Ollie self educated. Could, yeah, Ollie could get that puzzle. Um, the other option will be rolls, because we're playing a role playing game. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to rely on your skills as a player when your character has different skills. So um, you can also opt to say, I don't want to deal with this shit and I would like to roll for it. And then you're going to tell me a little bit about how it is that your character goes about trying to solve this puzzle. We'll come up with a roll. You'll roll it. And based on how well you do on the roll, your character will have more or less of a sense of how to move forward. So, you know, one way, one way or the other, you can, you can freely deal with uh, with puzzles in in either way, so we can kind of combine those approaches right now. Um, we know it's pi. Everybody guessed that it's a dumb puzzle, right? Uh, but we don't know how many digits. So uh, if somebody wants to adds, roll, how many, we can. How many? Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. we figure it out? You okay. Can. How many different? Yeah. How many different ads were there on the? Um, on the like because it's a uh, one of those like windows right it is but there, it's like a physical like printed piece of paper that's oh, oh, that's okay, behind okay. the window yeah okay yeah. i was so imagining it's, like, it's just the one oh, so it's just just the one ad Damn how it. many yep. how many uh actual buttons are uh in the elevator there are nine well there are 10 buttons there are one to nine and a question mark button you will Everyone? notice that there is no fire alarm. Actually, no, no. I'm sorry. There, there are, there have to be eleven because they, they, we need a zero digit. Um, True. So it's zero to nine and a question mark button, meaning there are eleven buttons. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if it's eleven digits. That's a lot of digits. That's a lot of digits. Hmm. Okay. So. What is in the ele elevator? There's the ad, like the window. There's the buttons. I guess the ad, how many images are on the paper? Like it's the, the it's person. It's just the one. And just the one. Like, well, yeah. yeah, I guess I'm. You're, maybe you're talking about image. how many components are yeah, in yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the picture. Many, yeah. Like there's like a piece of pie 
Hmm. Is there like yeah. a little lattice on the pie, like with like a certain number of crosses? It's um, it's a slice of cherry pie, so it, it has like a, a sort of a glazed, smooth crust to it. Uh, so you know, there's the cherry pie on the plate. There's a fork on the plate. Uh, there is the the server holding it out. Um, you know, behind her, you can see a a sort of sketch, like a, a kind of just a, a rough painted sketch of uh, the interior of a diner. There are six uh, letters in the word cherry. We're going to start getting also, real, cher- real fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Cherries, are often, cherries are often, uh, the graphic is often twisted to look like a six as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you want to try? Could it be six? Do you want to yeah, try six? Yeah, it's six. I want to try it's for six. six. Okay. Uh, so you enter uh, the first six digits of pi, three, one, four, one, five, nine. And as dot, dot, dot instructed, you hit the question mark. The elevator doors shut and you feel the vibration of, uh, of the, of the elevator. Uh, Not as, a day, riddle boy. Uh, as you head into the Riddler's face. I used to love working here. Yeah, good, Look. good call. That was exactly that was, that was exactly awesome. the was number the logic that I had behind the down. sex. What it was, it was the cherry. It was the clue. <laughs> Will it make you feel bad if I if I tell you the truth? Do you want to remain in the dark and feel clever, or do you want to know the actual deal? I do want to know the actual deal. The actual deal is. I just happened to write down that it was the first six digits. Oh, well, then I'm Completely cleverer than you. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, by proxy, cleverer than Edward Nigma. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is my nightmare. Total, total, total wild, perfect coincidence. Um, oh, well, look at what I've brought. This is my nightmare, folks. Tremble, ye mighty, and despair. Indeed, Adam. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's me. I literally just muted. What's up? Uh, so we cut from your three partners in crime, literally, uh, to you deeper in the base. You are, uh, you are with the Riddler. You are with, uh, I believe we established Pound and Bracket, uh, on, uh, on either side, having a, having a classic, uh, um, um, West Wing walk and talk uh, as as you move through the the corridors of the base. Um, you know, this is a uh, the the Riddler is very corporate, right? So um, the the sort of interior floors of uh, of the Riddler's base are uh, lots of the these very sort of like cool, sterile hallways, cool like temperature, right? Uh, sterile hallways with these these polished concrete floors, this sort of like concrete wall paneling, diffuse overhead lights. Um, you can hear them humming sort of uh, above you as you go. Um, you don't you, you don't see much in the way of of ventilation, but you can hear it. You know, there's just this constant like background undertone whir uh, of of kind of office building. Uh, uh, ventilation going um and uh and it, it always smells vaguely of these like antiseptic cleaners what what scent what scent do we think the riddler goes for in his in his industrial cleaners lime lime yeah yeah there's there's just this this hint of of kind of artificial uh antiseptic lime hanging in Lavender the air and lime yeah really mix oh. yeah mm, tasty Ugh. Yep. Don't yeah. don't 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 do lavender this way. Lavender and lime. Mm. Perfect. Yes. Uh, uh and uh yeah, and and you're 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 sort of going. R- Riddler is is continuing his his monologue here with you. Um 
And uh, you know I have several ideas for the next iteration. Uh, of course, I hope that we get the bat this time, but he has so many other little friends running around, so we can just sort of pluck each of those out as we as we go along. And uh, the disappointing thing, of course, is that each is going to be less clever than the last, but, uh, well... Yeah, Batman's kind of a, a high standard to live up to. He certainly is. He certainly is. But, um, well, not as high a standard as yours truly. Um, Adam, how do... Where in the base do you lose the Riddler? And how do you do it? How do you split off from, uh, from, from your boss here? Okay. I feel like this is a fairly common maneuver. Um, I think dot 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 looks to pound and bracket. Gives them like the little side of like, there he goes again. <laughs> and, and just as like, uh, like in indicating to like squeeze him out so he can like kind of disappear behind them, like crosses his eyes. <laughs> So, so your your plan is to just sort of gently slide behind the bodyguards and have the have Riddler and them just continue on without you. Yes. Tremendous. Yes. I love this. Into, into the, the base. Great. Uh cool. All right. You are you are certainly skulking your way out of this one. Um I I've got uh, not doing so I, hot, I, I would <sighs> I would accept maneuver as you are being a little deft in the way that you are maneuvering back between the bodyguards. Uh, a maneuver. A maneuver would be incredible right now. Great. Okay. So uh, give me a roll with your maneuver rating. Uh, you're down one for the level that Riddler has on you to start. Right. Hey, here we go, guys. Come on, I got to do better. I got five. Yay! Five. Okay, great. Uh, I succeeded. Mixed success. Um, okay, so uh, what what does a mixed success look like for this? Um, all right, so I I think mixed success is is we're we're just gonna sort of like uh, kick the can down the road a little bit, and you can do this. Um, the Riddler will, at some point in the near future, notice that he is not talking to you anymore and is going to come looking for you. Great, right. love that. Great. Okay. I'm sure. Uh, I'll make I'll make a note of this. Um, I have a plan. Okay. My plan is that we need to get into the vault. Because that's where all the basilisks and the money is. Yep. Correct. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new basilisk, tell Riddler, hey, I forgot one. This seems really important. And get back in. Cool. So whoever's in charge. Yeah. What's the new basilisk? Oh, wait, is it gonna be like the same one? Or is it gonna do something like different? I have a bad feeling that the Riddler knows those inside and out for different purposes. The basilisks? Well, I'm open. Yeah, I mean, you you don't know is the thing. Like, the, the Riddler is, um, for, for, for all of his sort of obvious bluster, somewhat inscrutable. Uh, like his arrangements. Just like his arrangements. And you know, Adam. Sometimes he, um, sometimes he seems like he's just not paying attention to jack shit. And then sometimes he just pulls out. He just like whips out some e extremely detailed observation about something that you've done that you didn't think he was paying any attention to. So it could it could really go either way. And this will come down to a roll later. 
uh, oh. when when this pops off. But for now, what you're saying is your plan is to get to your studio and um, and and get another uh, and get another basilisk. So here's here's the interesting thing: you do have to make another one from scratch because you right. don't have any of the stuff, right? Like you can't just go back into your files at, yeah. uh, on the on the computer or your your diagrams or pull out one of your sketches, right? You actually have to reconstruct one of these from scratch uh, in order to pull this off. Now, could you construct a decoy? Could you construct one that uh, maybe doesn't work? Could you construct one that has as yet unknown properties? Yes, these are all options that could happen. So you kind of don't know what you're gonna get because uh, you don't actually have what you need to recreate one of these one for one. Correct. Cool. All right, so uh, give us a give us a, a, a shot of uh, of Adam uh, scurrying back to the studio. Okay, so on cue at the cross-eyed uh, command, the two just like slowly inch back together, um, barricading the goose view as I just like in a very cartoon way, I'm like walking forward and then I'm like walking backwards without looking. And then I like you turn back into my studio. Rad. Very uh, slick. Yeah, yeah. So just just smooth as butter. You you execute this maneuver and you can hear the Riddler just yammering and yammering. Uh uh as he goes, as he continues down the hallway, turns a corner. Uh, and and is out of sight. Uh, only his uh, his uh, self satisfied words echoing down the sterile corridors. And Adam, you are back in your studio. Um, hey. I uh, I think it takes you a, a a minute or two to actually physically get back there. Like you weren't. Well, no, maybe, do, maybe you were walking by it, and that's why you chose this moment. You want to just right? do a, ruck, a luck roll? Um, no, nah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't. I think I with mean, the in consequence, yeah, with the with the mixed success, I think it makes sense that uh, that you chose to do this at a point where you could very easily just loop around the corner, backtrack into your studio. So you enter, you enter your studio, um, and you know that the crew is uh is probably coming into the base right now um so you know you can uh you can either like do this on your own you can try to get it done quickly and link up with them uh in in wh whatever way you want to do it but you do know that they are coming into the base and you're, you know, you had your backup plan, but your original plan was everybody infiltrates the base together. And that has immediately broken. Uh, so that is very much on your mind as you, uh, as you sort of, uh, I imagine you kind of like doing a little spin and closing the door of the, the studio and kind of bracing yourself uh, against it. Um, it's, it's very much like one of those, um, you know, uh, office school doors, right? With like uh, an arm on it and like a little Windows. window. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, you take like a a little breath in of like, phew, lost him. And you have your studio open to you. How are you going about this next step? Okay. So. I think already a bunch of things have gone wrong. There weren't enough costumes. They didn't come in with me. We need to have them more prepped for if they get encountered, which is a high possibility. I'm going to redirect them to the the off like the like the the tailor in house um 
Mm, okay, so you're you're saying you're saying part of plan uh, the plan C now is get the crew to the in-house tailor to get into proper disguises. Uh, no, that doesn't sound. Um, and it's it's perfectly valid if that's what you want to attempt to do. I'm open to suggestions also from the rest of the crew, but you guys. Okay. Think. We can we can flash back to the coffee shop and yeah. uh, and uh, say what's Plan C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. So let's just say we uh, we get into the base, but we get separated. Where where do we want to meet? Because uh, things could get chaotic real fast if we don't have some sort of rendezvous point. Dot dot dot. You you know the place, so. Uh, is admittedly labyrinthine, so hopefully it's not too hard if I gave you like a specific pin on like I mean something's better than nothing. I mean I feel like you kinda have to make that accessible because you start to mess with people's food. Yeah, you know, we have they a don't wanna... we have a break room. Like a lounge, kind of different foods, like vending machine. You could do that if you wanted. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's, All that's right. Solid meeting place. Maybe there will be people. I, I feel like I feel like this, and this may be, be be me stepping out of lane, but it feels like the Riddler's probably a little bit not quite a weeb, but like. Um, but like, you know, like the, like the Japanese vending machine that have shit that probably shouldn't be in vending machines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does, it kind of feels like the Riddler's break room might have some real questionable vending machine choices. Yeah. Definitely not legal. <laughs> yeah. It, there, there's definitely like, um, I mean, there's got to be a weapons vending machine, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, please, please. There's got to be a vending machine that has, like, yeah, here's uh, here's throwing knives. One of them is the puzzle box. The yeah. Purchase. Yeah. Cool. All right. So plan, so plan C is if the crew gets separated... Uh, everybody's going to reconvene in uh, the employee lounge slash break room slash cafeteria area. Slash uh, weapons arsenal vending machine. Before. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's definitely there's definitely a vending machine that's just puzzles, right? Like, it's got like it's got like a, a Rubik's cube, or a, well, I, we we're, we're not we can't say Rubik's cube. We'll get sued. Uh, a um, okay, uh, I, I, it's I, I, a, it's I, a I, Rubik's cube, cube but it's puzzle. just yeah, a a puzzle cube. Um, it's a Rubik's cube, but it's uh, it's four colors, and they are black, white, green, and purple. Purple, right? Incredible. I hate oh, this man so much. It's not a cube. It's a it's a, it's a four faced pyramid, like a D. Yes. Yeah. Love that. Uh, yes. Yes. The Enigma cube. Yeah. The Enigma cube. Um, yeah. So there's a bunch of like nonsense puzzles like that in in the vending machine, uh, in in one of these. Cool. Okay. Um. Hate grows stronger with every passing I know. second. <laughs> Let's cut back to the crew then, uh, or the the bulk of the crew. Uh, so the uh, so you you established this um, you established this plan. Um, the elevator uh, opens, and um, I think it's the doors on the other side. Uh, of the uh, of where you were, and you see a uh, a reception area here. Um, it's this room with um, concrete paneling. It's the, it's that sort of like corrugated concrete 
uh, that you see on like in, in like mid-century office buildings sometimes that's sort of like corrugated concrete paneling um the floor is covered uh in this green and purple patterned carpet wall to wall um uh the ceiling is this is this like uh it feels lower than it is this sort of grid of like soft diffuse lights um there's like some sad ferns or like like a like a couple of ficuses in in the corners um and just in front of uh actually let's let's say um in front and off to your right um there is a concrete reception desk that's like built into the floor um and there's a, a little bit of like seating um along the uh, along the walls here uh green leather of course um and you got that you got uh that good good corporate carpet smell uh underneath that that aroma of uh, of industrial lime and lavender um i'm gonna be sick dot 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 any uh any additional details about the entry reception area to riddler's base and is there anybody here uh at this time is there a receptionist are there guards um Anybody, anybody named? Just generic folks. Uh, the answer can be no. What do you think? Okay. There are two people. Quote and unquote. Great. Yes. And they have they have goggles. They're twins. Converted from Harvey's gang. Um. And Tremendous. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> fuck. And uh they um just uh answer questions, maybe check people in if there's like a specific uh, uh like non employee coming in. All right, so quote and unquote uh are are behind the desk uh in their uh their green suits. Uh actually one of them is in a green suit and one of them is in a purple suit uh and God, their goggles are uh flipped so the uh the one in the green suit uh quote uh has purple goggles the one in the purple suit unquote has green goggles um and they uh they see you coming in um and I mean, we're There's we're no immediately way. gonna we're we're immediately There's gonna no need a, a roll here. Uh, so uh, they they I think they haven't looked up just yet. They've registered that the elevator has opened, um, and uh, one of them says, um, "All right, loves, can I get your IDs, please?" And they are about to look up. And Jackie, what do you do? You is anyone else you around? Know I need to people. know very quickly if anyone else is nearby. They are the only. Yeah, they are the only ones currently the present. Second, as, I as hear that voice. Adam established. I have no other choice. I'm gonna need to knock these guys out. Okay. They cannot see me. It would blow everything. Okay, cool. Is there uh, a chance you could intimidate them into being like, you didn't see anything? Like, they know what you're capable of. Yeah, it's up to you, but you have a I'm split second to make a decision. You know what? Knock them out. Get them. All right, Ooh. so, uh, Jackie, nearby? you gonna, are immediately, you don't closet. know. You don't know. Uh, you are immediately attacking these guys. Yep. So uh, attack roll. Um, I think they are. Um, I'm gonna say they are at level with you. Right. So um, you're you're rolling flat to start. Um, you can push yourself. You can take a devil's bargain. Uh, uh, you can I've... enlist the aid of one of your compatriots. I've got three in in, in attack, so I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna push myself here. I think I can take it. I think I can do it. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have to make a you, clock for these guys. You, oh no! <laughs> you just see Jackie for a split second go ramrod straight, and I think y'all know the signs of when she's about to pop off. It happened, and before you can even be like, oh no, <laughs> like bullet time, be like, nope. Uh, she there if they're behind the counter, what she ideally wants to do is just like take a running jump, leap over that thing, and slam their heads into this concrete yeah. uh, desk. Perfect. No, no chance. Come on, baby, keep it together. Okay, I've got one six and one four to start. I have one more dice to roll. I just okay. want to see if it comes out crit, baby. Come on. Uh, if if it's a crit, we're we're getting it all in one. It it, it was another five. But I have, a, I, okay. I have a six and a five. All right, highest is a six. So yeah. um, you are, um, I've given them a four clock. Uh, with a six, you're gonna be able to fill two at once, taking one of them out entirely. So, Jackie, uh, you, uh, you burst out of the elevator, uh, <laughs> like, like a rocket uh you you vault the you vault the desk uh one hand on uh on the top of the concrete desk the other one you slam down let's say unquotes uh head into into the concrete uh, as you do that you continue your your leap over the desk um i actually think like i cartwheel over it o over him even just like yeah yeah just full, full swing around yeah, um, I'm and gonna you, try to get the other guy with with. And like, you land on the carpet. Yeah, you land on the carpet behind uh behind the uh behind the desk. Uh, quote uh has uh has enough time to say what 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 the hell, and uh and then you are you're whipping around for it sounds like another strike. Oh yeah. All right. Uh yeah. Uh okay. so you're you're attacking again. Same roll. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is like full momentum. There's not even, she's a blur at this point. All right, all right. That is another six. Okay. Uh, okay, we got we got a four, five, and a six. Okay, um, another six is gonna do it. So you uh, you land, uh, and as uh, and as your your foot hits the ground, you're immediately swinging around with the other leg uh, for a uh, a kick to to the face, uh, and the the other twin's head uh, is going right into that. Uh, that concrete surface, uh, and he, as this happens, uh, makes direct eye contact with you, um, and says, "Oh, is that Jackie Ripley?" Blah! Well, good thing he's listen, not gonna if, remember that. <laughs> if you saw me, no, you didn't. Uh, and uh, and the two of these guys are are now unconscious uh, and slumped on the uh and slumped over the reception desk uh, um i'm gonna need happen? somebody to quickly scan the room uh i'll do it all right i'm gonna shove them under the desk Ed, give me a roll this... to study the room you um awesome. interestingly because this is just a big slab of concrete you cannot uh there is no under to shove so um, you're gonna I have to find another way dice? to deal with these um, the <laughs> are you down any dice? I because this is you're you're this is against Riddler's base, which has Riddler's rating of two, so you're gonna be down one. Okay. That's a one and a two. Oh my god. A one and a two. Great. Uh so uh Jackie, oh as as you are as you are rising now. as you are rising back up. Uh, and uh, and you start to scan around for where you can stash these two guy, these two unconscious dudes. Um, Ed, uh, let 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 me get let me get a quick snapshot of Ed and Ollie standing in the elevator door. <laughs> <laughs> what do we see when we look back at the two of you, having just witnessed this this tremendous out of nowhere burst of violence? 
I think uh, Ollie's just, uh, we just kind of goes. And then taps the, taps the clipboard on their head, like, to try to think. Like, tap, 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 hmm. tap. Well, mm, okay. Yep. Jackie? Uh, what? Uh, I knew them. They, they would have recognized me. They used to work for Harvey. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, cool. They're fine, by the way. They're just unconscious. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's and, what uh, I was did, worried about. Wouldn't wouldn't doubt you for a second. Um, well, I guess we'll just leave them here. Um, always shove them in the elevator. I like that. Uh, wait, Someone, but I mean, unless you can see a freaking closet, which I don't. Nope. Yeah, um, and and Ed, as as you're sort of looking between like the elevator, the unconscious guys, uh, looking around the room, seeing if there's a door that looks like a closet, you uh, you you happen to glance up and directly square into the sights of a security camera in the corner. Okay. Uh, across from the desk, with a view of the entire room. Which is where we're gonna leave this one. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter. And Instagram, uh, and at my uh, website, andrevera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio, as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomus, Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, I uh, also want to shout out my uh, itch, uh, itch.io slash andreveraart. We can get some games. Um, I have some uh, games that I've just made by myself, uh, as well as many collaborations with uh, my my dear, dear, wonderful uh, Super Dylan, uh, including uh, at, at the time of recording our newest uh, collaborative game, American World Fight Club, which is very fun. You should check it out. I have been Hopper. Regrettably, I will continue to be Hopper. Um, if you are uh, a masochist and uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under The Legend Tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing Flights of Fandom. Um, we've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, and uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, as I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb 8itchio including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.